Graham Payton, and today I'll be asking you questions. Hi, I'm Andrew Carter, and today I'll be answering your questions. So, today we're going to be asking you some commonly asked questions about F5. You ready for these? Mm -hmm. So, first question Is F5 just a load balancer? I mean, that's what most people know it for, right? I mean, it's got to be said that F5 is a, is a load balancer, but it's a lot more than that as well. Uh, I mean, you've got additional modules, you've got things like AFM, which is the you know, fire, firewall. Uh, you've got APM, which is Access Point Manager, that's designed for remote access, you know, allows users to you know, access internal resources with authentication, and you know, real security as well with the ASM module. Um, in addition to that, you've got Global DNS. So I think to say that the F5 is just a load balancer is, uh, is not true at all, it's a lot, lot more than that. F5 have obviously released a lot of security modules recently and have a real focus on it, but just how good are F5 at security? Um, F5 are probably one of the leaders of security in the industry actually, uh, and they've got a great array of modules that actually really protect the enterprise and the, the users. Uh, I mean, you've got things like DNSSEC that's protected, um, you've got you know, protection from DDoS, and in addition to that, you've got many remote users coming to access the internal applications, and you've got, um, you've got security there, two factor authentication. Uh, you know, authentication that way. So, I mean, in terms of security, F5 are really up there. Sounds like they're doing well in security. Looking at recent examples, did they do anything with the shell shock vulnerability? Yeah, I mean, the great thing about F5 and the shell shock vulnerability is the fact that because it's a full proxy architecture, any you know vulnerable box in the back end uh, didn't have to be patched by the you know by the users. All that had to be done is put behind F5. The F5 would then protect them from the vulnerability, and everything's happening. So. All the F5 security solutions such as APM and ASM, can you deploy those standalone or do you always need RTM? Oh, that's a good question, Brian. Actually, we get asked that quite a lot. Uh, APM and ASM can be configured and can be put on the box independently. The good thing to note as well is that it comes with LTM light as standard. So, although you're getting the APM module and the ASM module, you're also getting a cut down version of the LTM module, which is great for load balancing and functionality like that. So, yeah, to answer your question, they can. Brilliant. Obviously, F5 have now released virtual servers to run alongside their physical hardware that obviously they've been known for for a number of years. Are there any things that customers should be aware of if they want to deploy virtual F5s? I mean, what are the major differences? Okay, I mean, the first thing to note is actually that the, um, you know, the virtual appliances and the physical appliances both use the same software, so that's identical. Uh, the only things to point out and sort of bear in mind are a uh, couple of things like scalability and things like uh, throughput as well. So with a hardware appliance, you're going to get the throughput and that's dedicated. Uh, and also in addition to that, things like SSL, uh, you get a de de dedicated card as well. Uh, however, virtual appliances, you can scale them a lot easier and also deployment is a lot quicker as well. I mean, you can often deploy a virtual appliance in probably half an hour. So it's great for people that want to bring up boxes uh, in a very quick amount of time. What do you think the next big thing from F5 is going to be? Oh, I don't know. I think what we should do is throw it out to the, uh, throw it out to the users and the, and the customers. Tweet us what you think is the next big thing coming from F5. And how about the F5 licensing model? Is it any good? It's not just good. It's better and best. What? So you're saying it's good, better and best? Tell me more. So, F5 decided to uh, cut the license model down to make it a little bit easier for everyone. So, you've got the good license, that's the basic LTM functionality. Then, moving up a step, you've got the better license. That includes LTM, GTM, you've also got the AFM, and also the application manager in there as well. And then, with piece of resistance, you've got best. That is everything you could ever wish for. That also includes the APM and the ASM module. So, like I said, Grant, it's not just good, it's good, better, and best. Wow.